So guys, we are back on the modded Weirdo server, ready to do some modded bits. <laughs> and yeah, I just moved out from the spawn area as you can see. We are now in the fancy looking swamp or roof forest or whatever this is. Uh, I got a small chest with my <laughs> little goodies in here. As you can see, I got a few ores and some other stuff. And what I just wanted to do is make myself a silky alumite pickaxe because I got myself some alumite tools because they are a really good tool material. And yeah, <laughs> let's do this after a quick cut because I need to gather an emerald from the spawn area and that's actually a really long journey. So yeah, I will see you in a bit. So guys, as you can see, I'm back. Um, I got all my stuff together, as you can see. <laughs> I traded with a villager for some wheat. And there we go, I got myself the silky jewel. Blemo. Um, <laughs> let's just put it in the chest, because we got the tool station over here. I already pre-made these. It's uh, just a blank pattern um, on top of a crafting table or crafting station because I got a crafting station left, so this guy right here. And now I can put in my pickaxe and the silky jewel. And there we go, we got ourselves a silk touch pickaxe. So if I mine some grass for example, as you can see I will receive the grass block and not dirt. That's really great because I also can get clean stone and all this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great achievement. And I want to put down my base over here. I will put it on the same layer as the road. So it will be one block higher. And I got the idea in my head to do some giant uh, circles. So it will be a tower going way up in the sky. <laughs> Not way up in the sky, but a little bit. Like the high of the mountains. And yeah, <laughs> these are actually a lot of cuts. Because I will see, I will make some progress, and when I see you back, guys. So guys, I'm back. I just made some progress over here. As you can see, I mined out a really big area on both sides. So this is gonna be the shape of the towers. And yeah, I also found something a little bit interesting. Because you got this uh, road over here. As you can see, it's uh, like a really long road with all of those uh, grass till now. And what I found is quite simple. Let's just type it in here real quick. Brownstone road. It's this one. As you can see, the tooltip says you run pretty fast on it. And I'm really looking forward to craft this one. And therefore we are going to need a chisel and some brownstone. The brownstone is made out of tin and gravel. <laughs> That's actually a little bit strange. <laughs> Let's see how we will do this. Let's do this on camera so I can show you a little bit of the Tinker stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so we need the chisel. Let's get this one and see which part we will need. We will need the chisel head and a tool rod. So we first of all make our stencil. There it is. And we simply put it in here with our material. Uh, we could also use this material, but for now I'm just using stone. Yep. And we will use a bone for the tool rod. So now what we just have to do is quite simple. Let's grab ourselves a bone. And put both of these in here. There's a chisel. And we got the chisel head and the bone. So now we got ourselves a stone chisel. So now we need some brown stone and for this I gonna have to grab some gravel. Let's see. Where do I got gravel? There's some gravel. I think this will be enough for now. And some tin. Do I have tin? Let's quickly <laughs> use any eye again. So we double click it and as you can see everything which contains the word tin, will highlight itself. This is grout. Oh, it's because it's from Tinker's Construct. Then he got some tin, but it's actually not the ore I'm looking for. 
I got some aluminum, which we could pin in here. Oh, there we go. There's our tin. <laughs> I just overlooked it. And now we go over to the smeltery. Hopefully it isn't occupied, but doesn't look like it is. Because all of those other peeps are <laughs> down at the bottom, as you can see on the map. So let's do this. We just put in one of our tin. Which, which should cook up real quick. So there we go. There's our molten tin. Let's select it by clicking it. And we put in our gravel as set and we pour um, our tin over it. And there's our brownstone. Let's do a little bit more of those because we will need some of those. So there's our second one. We will just do as many as possible. Since it doesn't use really a lot of tin, just a tiny bit as you can see. So it uses half an ingot every time. <laughs> I think I don't have enough ingot on me. <laughs> so there we go. This will be our last one. But we still got tin in it. So I think I have to look for a little bit more gravel. Let's do this. <laughs> I got some torches on me. And they look pretty interesting and modded. I think it's made by a mod called Genny Surface. I'm not sure why it got the 3D model in here. Same goes for bows. But not for hoes. And... Gravel. I think I have some more gravel. But that's actually no problem because I got a hammer on me. So which is actually a thing from X Nai Hilo. It's crafted like this. Just two iron ingots and some sticks. And if we now use the hammer and smash the cobblestone, we will get ourselves gravel. Which is actually pretty cool. <laughs> so let's go back <laughs> to Paddy Space. Because I don't have a smelter yet. I got the ingredients, um, but I want to put it in my base immediately <laughs> and not just put it um, anywhere in my field and then move it. So we have to put it in here and get ourselves a tin. Nice. In the meanwhile, we can smash down some more cobblestone. <laughs> and get some more of this brown stone. So much is left. I think about 10 or something like this. Let's make a cut right here until I got this finished. Okay, so the last piece is done. Let's get it out. And we got 18 of rough brownstone. So we can chisel it to make brownstone road. You can run a bit faster on it. And bronze and road makes it that you can run pretty fast on it. So this is what we want to do. So let's get our chisel, the rough brownstone, and get all of those. There we go. There's our 18 brownstone, which is actually not a lot. <laughs> we need to make a lot more in the future. So if we just check it out and put a stripe in here for now. I think this will do. And put in our brownstone and run over it. Whoa! <laughs> we can run very fast on it. As you can see, it's quite obvious. So that's actually a really great way to connect our bases. And yeah, I will do some more progress. Maybe laying down all of those grass with brownstone, <laughs> which will take quite some time. But I think it should be doable in about um, 20 minutes and yeah when I'll be right back guys so in case you're wondering what uh, device it was I was uh, using it's actually a smeltery and it's a multi-block structure which means so you need uh, multiple blocks to build it up and I got these prepared in my hotbar as you can see and I just want to build up my own smeltery <laughs> because I don't want to have to use patties every time 
So let's make a temporary one over here in this circle. Um, but I will move it later on. So we just make a 3x3 three three hole, first of all, which will be the base. And put in seared bricks. These will get actually by cooking grout, and grout is made out of a little bit clay, sand, and gravel mixed together. And we need some more stuff like this. So this will be the border. And we will need a smeltery controller, which we will have to craft up like this. Now we got our smeltery controller. <laughs> and I actually received an achievement. So we can put it uh, right here and some more sealed bricks and over here will be our tank and for this we will need glass and I don't have a lot of glass I actually don't have any glass so we have to make ourselves a furnace and I don't have cobblestone <laughs> and I don't know how should I get one um, let's see how I can make cobblestone Whoops. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I only have silk touch on my pickaxe. I I got these, but they won't be enough. Let's chisel them back to normal cobblestone. Um, yeah, I will do the um, lava tank later so I can continue. And what else do we need is quite simple. I'll make myself two drains and two seared fossils. Faucet, faucets, what on earth? <laughs> and these we will put in right here. And I want to get myself a torch so I can put down some light. And our other drain. Here's our faucets. So these will go right here and over there. And then you got the casting table and the casting basin. So you put in on one side this guy and this guy on the other side. Yep, this is how it will do. And we can we have some more seared bricks. Okay, they already left, so I can continue recording. And over here will uh, there will be a spot because we need a lava tank. So we just continue placing our blocks like this. And we can make another layer. The more layers we place, the bigger the storage will be. So it can make um, more fluids at the same time. Yep. This is how it will do. And we can also make a crucible a crucible and it needs a transfer this is transfer like this and we make our crucible first so we need pork land clay which is basically clay with some bone meal do I have more bones I don't but what I can make is um the, um, not the crucible, the transfer node for liquids. Because I got lapis. Let's put in some other stuff right here. Oh my god, I got so much stuff on me. And what else do we need? We need some iron. As well as a bucket. So we make this one real quick. <laughs> I really often say real quick. <laughs> do we have an ender pearl? We don't. So we have to use a redstone block. Like so. And we have to get ourselves a transfer pipe. Which is made pretty easily by glass. And I don't have glass. So yeah, let me make this stuff up and I will be right back. Okay guys, I just made some more progress <laughs> after I took out all of those. Oh, I got an upgrade. Plus one bane of arthropods. 
Bane of Arthropods. Okay, never mind. Um, so I just built up the smeltery entirely and put in a little bit of lava over here. Actually, one piece of uh, lava. And I just melt down some of those aluminum brass and made a bunch of casts. So now I can just go into the chest and grab whatever cast I would like to grab. And as you can see, I already prepared some stuff. So I can show you how this will work. Because I want to have infinite lava inside here and it's actually quite easy to make. Everything we have to do is take out first of all this block right here. It doesn't have to be this block, but it's the uh, best block to break. And we put in a lava right there. This one right there. And I want a piece of cobblestone. And we get ourselves a transfer node with items. So, yep. Um, we need a world interaction upgrade for this to get some of those handy dandy cobblestone. Because the cobblestone we will use to put into the... Uh, come on. To put into the um, tank. And everything we have to do is... Let's just put a book there for now. We need some more of those transfer pipes like this. And one for liquids. So we will get the cobblestone out of it. This will be put inside here. And um, then the lava will be dragged out into this lava tank. Okay, this is going to be the last cut in today's episode. And I just got the world interaction upgrade done. I just made some more iron in the smeltery. And yeah, let's grab it and see if it will work. It should in theory work. So we put it in here and as you can see it's filling up with cobblestone which is pretty nice. Nice. And yeah this will be put inside here and as you can see on the um, tooltip on the top its melting speed is 2.0 and solid cobblestone in it is around about 1000. Wow that's quite a lot actually. <laughs> and yeah. As you can see, it slowly turns into fluid, and the fluid is immediately pulled out by this um, transfer node and is being put inside it. And as you can see, it's gradually filling up. So I think that's a great approach to end this episode here. Um, in the first episode, we also built um, a smeltery, but this time it's our very own smeltery. And I will move it when we got some more progress on the base. And yeah. I, I'm thanking you for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next episode. If you liked the video then leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it then write a comment what I should improve or um, what I do in modded. Please tell me it because I'm not quite sure what I should do about it. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know if you like it with the progress updates and um, how I explain everything. Um, I can also do some other stuff. Just tell me in the comments if you got some ideas what I could do in my episodes. And yeah, thanks for watching.